You asked for head swaps? Here you go. Lava Land. So let's start off by looking at the Vegeta head sculpt 24,000. This is the regular head sculpt that comes with the figure. It's one of my favorites that SHF has made. But this video is all about the head swaps, so let's take a look at some head swaps. First up, we have the Tonson head sculpt. This is from the mid transformation when it becomes Uzaru. And I usually use this with my uh, Saiyan armor Vegeta, but it looks pretty good with this new Vegeta. Next up, we have the Kong Studio Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta head sculpt. And for this one, it was very difficult. I had to change the neck piece and everything to apply this head sculpt onto this figure. So the whole neck had to be changed, but it worked out in the end. Gives me Budokai vibes. I used to do this in Budokai and have it with the Saiyan armor and the Super Saiyan 3 head sculpt. So really excited. It is a little heavy though, so you see it falling back. Next up, we have the TK DIY head sculpt. And this head sculpt doesn't look too good with this uh, armor. I feel like this one's very end of Z Vegeta looking, um, almost like Janemba movie. So it looks a little small compared to with the Saiyan armor. Uh, not my favorite. Next up, we have the Re-Custom Windy Hair Piece. Vegeta. This comes in a two-pack with the windy hair Goku and phew, this is one of the best head sculpts out there right now for a black-haired Vegeta and it looks great on this Saiyan armor Vegeta. Next up we have the Tonson Super Saiyan Blue Evolution head sculpt and there's just something about all the blue on the spandex and the hair that really really takes this to another level so I really like the way this looks on this saiyan armor vegeta now we have more tonson but first let's get started with the regular head sculpt on the broly armor vegeta and this looks fantastic i like that it's bigger and more exaggerated and it gets that linear look so i really like the way that looks and right back there we have the super saiyan god vegeta from tonson head sculpts and with the red hair and the blue contrasting it looks pretty good I still think I like the Blue Evolution better for some reason. And in this case, yeah. Here we have the regular head sculpt on a Majin Vegeta body. And right back there, we have a Tonson Majin Vegeta head sculpt on the armored Saiyan armor Vegeta. And again, this is very Budokai for me. I remember I used to do this in the game. Now we have the Kong Studios. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution head sculpt and as you can see it's very small so It's really high above the neck This one I don't believe goes into the peg and some of them do some of them don't I really stopped trying after a while because it was taking too long so a lot of this is blue tech And right back there we have the shirtless Vegeta with the 24,000 head sculpt And it does look a little big for this body Not gonna lie Not feeling this one too much Next up, we have the Resurrection F Vegeta head sculpt and the thin body with the big head does, I don't know, there's something charming about that. Uh, the gray suit does go with the black and here we have the head sculpt that comes with the Resurrection X, Resurrection F Vegeta. And uh, no, this ain't working. It's too narrow, the neck looks too wide and it just doesn't work. Here we have the uh, regular Saiyan, Super Saiyan or Super Vegeta body with the uh, new 24,000 head sculpt. And I think this looks really good. And back there we have that same body's head sculpt, the Super Saiyan one. This is the first release um, with the Saiyan armor. And it didn't change the faceplate. This was, a, was what I had on display. So he is kind of screaming with his arms crossed. It was kind of weird. Um, but it might might look good with the regular head sculpt. Just didn't didn't want to get it and go search for it. So, but I do like the black haired with the Saiyan uh, scouter on the uh, armored look there. Really, really, really nice looking. Next up, we have uh, Super Saiyan Four GT Vegeta with the twenty four thousand head sculpt, and right in the back is 
Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta with the armor. I really like the back, how the hair kind of goes down into this, this armor. But the head sits a little low. There's something weird about it. I don't know. I'm not feeling this as much as I thought I would. I, would, I thought I would like this, but there's something about it that just feels a little off for me. Yeah, I don't know. But the back looks really nice. If you look at the back, this does look kind of cool with the brown and then the armor, the yellow and the armor. And the Vegeta with the... <laughs> looks weird. Next up, we have the first release Saiyan armor Vegeta. And we have it with the new armor. And it's, again, just too narrow. The head looks too narrow compared to the neck. So it does not look too good in my opinion. But if you put the new head, the 24,000 head, on the old body, it sits low, but it reminds me of how Vegito looked. He was all scrawny and small, he barely had, and then he had a skinny, skinny neck. So I do like the way that looks. I don't like the old head on the, old, the new body, but I like the new head on the new body. Really, really nice. Kind of wish I bought like five of these, to be honest. Next up, we have the uh, second release. This is uh, the Saiyan Armor Vegeta. That's the head sculpt that it came with. And I don't have a scatter on it, but that's how it sits onto the new 24,000 Vegeta. And then right back there, we have the 24,000 Vegeta head sculpt with the old Saiyan Armor Vegeta. And as you can see, it does look nice. I feel like the big head and the big hair works a lot of the times with these uh, older figures. I, I guess it's just more Akira Toriyama style, early Akira Toriyama style. It just looks good. I really do like the beheads. And here's just a little uh, bonus. I wanted to see if the old Saiyan Armor Vegeta hand would fit in the peg of the new 24,000, the over 9,000 uh hand and yes it does so here we have the over 9000 hand on the new vegeta wow that was awesome uh so many different ways you can mess around with this figure and uh i really like a lot of them i don't know which one to pick maybe i think the super saiyan 3 was cool but i think the tonson art heads really really work with this uh 24,000 vegeta but yeah um thanks for watching uh like comment subscribe and until next time thanks for hanging out at lagoland i don't know peace